Kenyans have rejected this bill. It cannot be forced down our throats. It is shameful seeing our police officers in Kenya, particularly in Mombasa. And it is so sad, subjecting peaceful demonstrators to tear gas and unlawful arrest. We have even seen some tear gas being poured to a, one of our schools in Mombasa, the Coast Girls. I strongly and we all strongly condemn the indecence in assaulting children and question their morals. The audacity of tear gassing students in a classroom is particularly reprehensible. We are saying as Kenyans, if they have seen that they need to have a platform, they need to have an avenue to raise up their voice and say that no to the finance bill 2024 i don't see why the police need to tear gas them need to arrest them and they are doing according to the constitution which wanjiku spoke on it adiambo spoke on it kazo spoke on it kwa hivyo tunasema kenya inapelekwa na mujibu wa sheria na sheria ni msumeno inakata mbele inakata nyuma na sheria tulipitisha sasa ni takriban miaka 14 Na katika sheria kuna vipengele ambavyo vimetupatia ruhusa na vimepatia wa Kenya ruhusa ya kufanya kitu inaitwa picketing. Yani ile kufanya demonstration maandamano. Na kuna ile tunasema ni freedom, kuna ile freedom of expression. Yani kujieleza ambayo iko pia katika katiba article 33. Kwa hivyo tunashangaa sana kuona polisi ambao tunajua wao ni watu wa kutulindia usalama, wako supposed kuwapatia security wale waandamanaji, wale wanafanya picketing na wapatia usalama kwa sababu hawakuwa na silaha, hawakuwa na fujo, walikuwa tu na bano ya kupeleka ujumbe hata ujumbe umfikie rais ya kusema ya kwamba hii finance bill 2024 sisi kama wa Kenya tunaona ni mzigo na punda imechoka na tumechoka na hiyo mzigo sasa tia gas zinapigwa mpaka in one of our school in Mombasa county and that is coast girls Tia gas zilirushwa nyingi sana na watoto wameumia, watoto wengi wamewashwa macho zime, zime kuwa na matongo, zinauma kwa sababu ya hizo tia gas. Jamani, as a country, sisi ni nchi ambayo tunaendelea uko mbele kustawi na tunaendelea kuwa sisi tunaboresha sheria zetu hapa katika nchi yetu ya Kenya. Kwa hivyo sisi tunasema tumetoa mautishwa sana na tunasema tunakondem strongly, tunasema no to tia gas. Na ukiona wananchi wa Kenya wameamua wenye kujitokeza pasi na msukumo wa mwanasiasa pasi na msukumo wa vyama vya kisiasa wao wenyewe ujue wa Kenya wamefika pali tunaita wamefika ukuta wamefika ukutani na kwa sababu wameona vile hapa bunge mambo yanavyoendelea tunakaa tunaona kitu ni mbaya kwa wananchi tunataka ku no na tunasaidia lakini tunaona tyranny of numbers ndio ina take charge kwa hivyo sasa mwananchi amesema wacha tutumie tyranny of numbers sisi kama wa Kenya because the tyranny of numbers now hapa bungeni imekuwa kila saa in a vote against the interests of the Kenyans. Kenyans wale wali wachagua, wale wali wapatia mandate ya kuwafanya representation, ya kuwafanya legislation. Ambazo zitakuwa for the interest of the ordinary mwananchi yule mkenya ambaye sasa hivi ni mchochole, ni maskini. 2023, situ liku, tulikuwa na finance bill ya 2023. Iyo ushuru tulieka yote ime, imeza ngapi sasa? Na kama hiyo ndiyo njia kuboresha, mbona bado tunalia, tunasema hakuna pesa, bado tunaitaji pesa, na kama hile tulieka, singe kwa imefanya kazi. Hawaja, kwanza hawaja implement vizuri ili ya 2023, tena sasa imekuja 2024, ndiyo lazima tute, tutafute ushuru. Lakini tutafute ushuru kwa njia ambayo, hatuta muumiza mkenya, na tutafu, tutafune kile tunaweza kukimeza, tutafune kile tuwezi kumeza. You cannot compare Kenya with developed countries, countries ambazo they are already developed. Developed. Wale wame develop, kama ni uduma ziko sawa, kama ni kila kitu kinafanyika, wanalipwa malipo tofauti tofauti ya kuwasaidia, kama wananchi wa hizo nchi. So you cannot just say, in a few period of time, you want us to be like Dubai, you want us to be like America, for instance, ambao tayari wao, wame bobea, ndio hata wakieka ushuru wa inagani, wao wame stawi, lakini sisi Kenya bado hatuja stawi, we are still developing. And when we are still developing, we cannot force. Iyo ushuru ambayo itamufanya yule mkenya paka. Awe, wakenya sasa wanaenda kwa payslip na wanapata zero. Nil salary. 
Hakuna kitu. So for now, what we were discussing and debating this parliament, and people need to understand, we are not dis di discussing the proposal. We were debating the finance bill the way it is with all those clauses. Ya kuongeza mkate, ya kusema ya kwamba audible oil mafuta yetu ya kupika chakula imeongezwa, ya kusema mambo ya transactions za mpesa, za mambo ya banki imeongezwa, ya kuonyesha ni yale mambo yote ambayo ya mezungumziwa. The proposal they are talking about is not yet, that stage of the proposal they're talking about has not reached. And for us, as Azimio and members of parliament here, we were debating the punitive bill ambayo iko na hivyo vipengele ambavyo vimemfanya mkenya. Hata machines zimeongezwa machines za, za mambo ya, sara, ya saratani.